I want to do a quick demonstration of how to tie an American style modern oboe reed blank. So the first thing I'm going to do is just start with a piece of plain shaped cane. This cane's already been shaped. I'll put it on my easel and quickly take off a little bit from each end so that it will sit nicely under the thread and hopefully won't leak. Make a nice smooth transition. Now with the American style blank, it's, it is important to slip the, the blades. They shouldn't align exactly as they do in a European scrape reed. And generally what I do is after I fold it over, uh, it's a bit hard to see, but I'm slipping to the right, which means that the top blade is slipped to the right, the bottom blade juts out to the left. Not very much, just a little bit. There's a certain amount of slip. I'm sure it's not so easy to see. And then just to make life a little bit easier, uh, some people use a rubber band. I use a piece of parafilm to uh, wrap around the middle of the reed just to keep it closed and help it sit on the staple during the tying process. And I'm going to cut this off right after I, uh, I tie the blank. So there it is. It holds closed. And you can see that when I put it on the staple, one of the nice things is it gives me essentially a third hand. It'll stay right on the staple, allow me to position it any way that I want. Now I know that for this particular staple, which is a Kirugi 2 Plus, and this uh, particular shape, which is, uh, this is the KG shape, that I want 27 millimeters exposed. So I'll go ahead and mark a spot 27 millimeters from the top of the cane with a piece of pencil, a little pencil. Place that on my mandrel with the pencil mark just below the end of the just below the end of the tube, and then I'll make sure that it's straight up and down, as well as that the ellipse of the cane lines up with the ellipse of the uh, the staple. And a good way to do that is usually the flat of the mandrel represents the the middle axis of the ellipse. So once I've got things aligned the way that I like. I'll grasp the cane so that it doesn't move. And then I'll begin the tying process. Now, the reason I slip to the right is, as a right-handed person, I am going to be tying around this way. And the, the pressure of the thread will push the two blades together. It'll pu push the top blade into the bottom blade and cause it to seal, have it seal very, very well. And that's why I'm slipping to the right. If I were a lefty, I would slip to the left because the pressure of the thread would be in the other direction. So I'm going to start out with four very loose loops, one, two, three, four, about five millimeters from the end of the, the, the staple. And it's quite loose, maybe a fifth loop. And then I'm just going to begin to pull, pull very, very lightly. And just this action of pulling will actually close the, the blank around the, um, around the staple. Now, if it doesn't, you can let the pressure up a little bit, reposition it. And in this case, it actually closes almost perfectly um, even without continuing the wrapping towards the top of the staple. It's closed just, just by pulling. I'm going to go ahead and maybe do one more wrap, and then I'm going to roll the blank towards me and go just up to where the mark is, and at that point the blank should be sealed. Once I've gotten to that point, I'll go ahead and do my crossover and continue to wrap down. keeping quite a lot of pressure on the string so that I get a nice tight seal. Sometimes you, uh, you have to go back and make sure it's nice and neat. If you have something that's a little bit lumpy, you can go back and redo it. And once I've reached the end, I do two half hitches, and here's how I do it. I have some slack. I make a loop, two fingers inside the loop, twist, twist, 
and over the top and then pull it tight and I'll do that one more time. Make a loop, two fingers, twist, twist over the top, around the bottom of the reed and pull it tight and uh, cut it off. And at that point, I should have a blank that seals. I can cut the parafilm off. Let's check the seal. And I'm getting that nice little pop, which tells me that the blank seals beautifully. And that's all there is to it.